Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So now today I'm going to talk about one of the things that I did, you know, one of the so-called sins <laughs> that, you know, I committed as a new mother and uh, it is going overboard with baby shopping before the baby got here. Okay, so of course it's a very exciting time in, in your life and uh, you're pregnant, you're looking forward to the new arrival, all of that. And it's just easy to go overboard <laughs> with baby stuff. Okay, you go to a baby store or you go to the online shops and you see these amazing products so cute so pretty and you go through youtube videos you're gonna need this you're gonna need that oh my gosh i should be without this and you know and a lot of people tell me hey don't buy and stuff because you know um you can see once the baby gets here but i was thinking wow once the baby gets here and then i'm going to be like recovering and you know overwhelmed with the baby and then who's got time to shop and stuff so I went totally crazy and I bought a lot of things and I realized now that that was a mistake and this is why number one you don't really know what was going to suit your baby okay so uh, you know there are many devices like for instance these rocking chairs and cribs and all of that which really are highly recommended all five stars you know praise to the skies on, on reviews and stuff like that but maybe your baby will like it and then that's money down the drain <laughs> okay so number one is definitely that your baby may not like or may not you know be comfortable with those things that you bought number two is that every you know baby's skin and so on is different so i bought a lot of like creams washing stuff shampoo you know i mean i know i know that you know i mean newborns don't really use that much but then I figured, oh my gosh, you know, this is so gentle and I tried out these different formulas and all of that and, and I bought a lot and praise God, you know, my baby has like, you know, she didn't have sensitive skin, so it did, it did work for her. But then, you know, I see so many mothers who really expensive products and you put it on one time and the baby breaks out and all of that. So it's just not worth buying in bulk. Another thing is, you know, to, you know, don't go overboard with nappies. Another mistake that I made and I bought like so many nappies for one thing you know there are different you know types of nappies that are the pan style is a tape style depends on what you like what you find convenient because remember you're going to be changing a lot at odd hours of the night you know so you need to find something that you're comfortable with and I don't really recommend that you get something that you know that I mean you're going to regret later so buy small quantities initially and you know have some sort of convenience system that you can buy more you know in case you like it but don't go crazy and don't buy in bulk and especially with these offers buy f four packets and get one free and i bought so many things and now you know you you don't realize how quickly they grow out of those sizes right so you buy like a huge pack of newborn like three packs of newborn plus one plus this plus that and and it's crazy you finish it off so quickly sometimes depending on the phase and sometimes like you know you're changing so like really and you know you you have so many leftovers so i really don't recommend going crazy buy a few initially see what works for you see what suits you and then go crazy another very important reason why you shouldn't buy a lot of things beforehand is you know traditionally and i mean this is different for everyone obviously but everyone who comes to see your child will give them something usually okay so when you're at the hospital when you're at home when they're in this phase when they're in that phase People come often and they bring a lot of stuff. So you're going to be gifted a lot of things and then you're going to have duplicates and it's going to be a waste. So especially with clothes, you know, you're going to find that people gift you a lot initially. So, you know, your whole body, like, I mean, for instance, when my child was born, I didn't have a single dress because I didn't know whether the child was going to be a boy or a girl. And on the third day, I think that she was here, I had 30 dresses maybe. <laughs> You know, someone came in the back of 20 someone came in through three and and i just realized that wow you know that's a lot of clothes so um don't go crazy you know obviously if there's something that you really really love and that you've fallen in love with please do buy that <laughs> you know but don't go crazy buying a lot of stuff just stick to the basics so let me know if you want to see like some of the basics that i think you can really invest in even before your baby gets here, I'll be happy to cover those some from my own personal experience. So thank you very much uh, for watching. That's about it for this video. And um, 
if you do like my content i'll be very happy if you subscribe i do i will appreciate it thank you